This video is about the optimal setup of your document preferences for um, note entry with simple entry on a laptop. Okay, first thing you want to do is um, engage simple entry by clicking on the simple entry palette. If you don't have that open, just go to the window and choose simple entry palette. Or you could also do it from the main tool palette by clicking on the little eighth note there. So either place, you've now engaged the simple entry, uh, you're in the simple entry um, mode of, of entry, and you have a simple entry uh, menu right there. You click on that, go to simple entry options. I recommend deselecting these first four. Um, they are not that useful most of the time and they can kind of get in the way of your workflow. Then go to edit keyboard shortcuts and choose the laptop shortcut table. Yours will probably be, if you haven't done this previously, will be on the default shortcut table, and that's, that's not the best for laptops. So we choose laptop shortcuts, click on that, say OK, click out of there, and now you have engaged uh, some of the most important shortcuts for the laptop, and then um, it allows you, for example, to use the number keys to change the note value. If you look at my floating cursor, it's currently an eighth uh, half note, um, the numbers correspond to durations. The lower the number, the smaller the duration. I'll start with the most uh, useful one, which is 16th note, which is number 3. If I hit a 3, bingo, it turns to a 16th, 4, 8, 5 is quarter, 6 is half, 7 is whole note. You um, enter a note and you can add a dot by hitting the period. Um, so that's how you get um, durations uh, entered. For um, Chords for intervals, the, the best thing is to engage the um, uh, your function keys. And the way to set up your function keys to allow you to do intervals is the following. You go to the Apple, System Preferences, uh, choose Keyboard, and make sure that this top window here is checked. You want that on. And that allows you to use um, your function keys in Finale. If it also disables your function keys for normal uh, uses like turning up your volume and brightness and stuff. But the way you can engage the normal uses of the function keys is by just holding down the FN key at the same time. So now, because um, I've checked that button, I can hit, say, if I want a third above this note right here, I can just hit F3 and it will just give me a third. If I hit F4, it'll give me a fourth and F5 will give me a fifth and so on. And it makes it possible to build chords really fast. However, if I wanted to turn up my volume, I can't just hit F12 anymore. I'd have to hit Fn plus F12, and then I could turn up and down my volume and so on. So most people that use this just leave the, uh, that, that box checked, and they just press down Fn to do the extra function. Okay, playback shortcuts. So if you have the playback window turned off, you can select any measure, and then hit space bar and click, and it will start from that measure. If you want to go slower, as if you were playing this on the piano and just checking everything out, you can just um, do Option plus Spacebar and move your cursor and it will play back at the speed of the cursor. So this is great for checking voicings and, and working um, like that. And then the other thing I'd like to mention is um, that the different views are good for different things. So when you want to see what your music is going to look like on the page, you do page view. And you and when you want to just work on a, a project and, and quickly scroll back and forth over big distances, uh, scroll view is better. And you can uh, toggle between them with the, with the shortcut command E. Command E, there's page view, and there's scroll view. Oh, and then there's also studio view, which is command option, sorry, command shift E which brings you to this view where you can control volumes and panning and muting and all that kind of stuff too. So that's a good one to know about. And you can also do conducting with this. Okay.